Hi, my name is Nathan. This is a Ford E450 2006 that I've converted into a mobile office and studio. So just a couple things to note first, I don't actually live in this uh, space full time. I uh, converted it to be a uh, an adventure wagon, go on camping trips, and as essentially like a mobile office. So there are a few needs that I didn't really need to incorporate into my build, like a full functioning kitchen or a bathroom, plumbing, stuff like that. So if you're thinking about doing your build, just keep that in mind that I didn't need to put those things in. So this is uh, half of the kitchen area. As I mentioned earlier, I don't live in here full time, so I don't have running water just yet. It's not really top on my priority list, but there will be a tap here at some point. Uh, just ignore the stewarding sign. This is something I stole from my old work. <laughs> <laughs> Big shelf at the top here uh, for, you know, for food and, you know, pots, pans, whatever I decide to put here. So yeah, this is still a work in progress, but I like the way it's shaping up so far. Uh, down here, we have these custom made little drawers. Drawers are really expensive. I don't really know why. They were like $80 a drawer at Home Depot. So not, not, not about that life, but I bought these for about, you know, five bucks each, stained them myself, and I made, you know, nice look, nice looking drawers there. Most of the cabinets are from Home Depot. I wasn't really confident building those myself, but uh, what I've done is I've just built a custom countertop. Um, as you can see here, we have these little latches here. One thing you have to consider when you're building these things is that, you know, you're going to be hitting bumps, you're going to be on the road, so everything has to have some kind of safety barrier or latch. Uh, to keep everything closed. You'll notice that there's a lot of really rustic wood in this space. What I've done is I've gone on the internet and found people that are getting rid of their decks, uh, their fences, and I've just uh, gone ahead and picked them up and turned them into furniture essentially. So this was someone's deck that I've chopped up and turned into a table. Because it's a tight space, you have to use every square inch for, you know, multi-purpose. So down here, I just have all my tools, keep all my tools in here. And then on the other crate here, this is where I keep my vacuum. And then down here, this extra little charming. Okay, so this is the couch. Um, it's just basically a, a cushion I took off of a futon and trimmed it a little bit. And this actually slides right out. There we go. I'm not a big guy, so it's not a big bed. <laughs> so it works for me. And it slides right back just like this. Super easy to do and uh, you know, still have a nice walkway area. Down here, this is where we keep the batteries. I have two solar panels on the roof, 100 watts each. It's not a lot, but for what I use the bus for, it's been plenty of energy so far. So I just have two batteries storing my energy there. I would like to upgrade to four at some point. I also have a propane heater for when I do camp. Um, keeps me nice and toasty. I'll probably upgrade to a Cubic Mini at some point. Again, down the road. Also, money. <laughs> down here, this is my far and away my favorite part of the bus. It is completely unnecessary. That's why I, that's why I decided to put it in. Uh, this is where I keep all my tripods and gear. So everything is just held on by hooks and then little Velcro straps that you, know, you can easily take things off. And then underneath here, behind uh, behind this shelf, I have a backdrop that's hidden uh, in case I need to do any small uh, product shooting or uh, if I, you know, think of a cool idea for a video that I can use a uh, backdrop for. So the type of photography I like to do uh, besides landscape is uh, surrealism photography and photo manipulation. Uh, so for some of the projects that I that I work on, uh, they require me to build weird props or um, basically MacGyver my way through situations. So it's nice to have a little area that I have, you know, a bunch of tools and supplies that I can, uh, you know, quickly rig up something or simply make a, a prop for a photo, like uh, this giant, uh, you know, bathroom chain that I made for a photo concept I, I did last year. This thing here, just rearrange. This is where I keep all the blankets and various linens, towels, stuff like that. And I can just move that to the side, get extra workspace there. So 
You can move some things around if you need the space. Just at the back here, I have this um, backdrop that drops down. Just like that. Um, it's just a sheet of blackout fabric uh, that I put two eyelets in so that it could hang from the ceiling. Uh, basically what it's used for is a uh, projector. I have a projector that hangs from the ceiling, all DIY, super cheap. And uh, yeah, you could watch movies, shows, or whatever. It's just another cool feature to have. Uh, you'll notice that in this bus, uh, compared to a lot of other ones that I've looked at, the ceiling is actually quite high. Also, I'm not very tall, but <laughs> uh, the ceiling I notice is higher than the other buses that I checked out. It used to be an old medical bus to you know, transport patients to and from the hospital, so uh, I'm not sure if they require more height, but hey, I'll take it. Also, I took off the sheet metal um, and, and did this wood ceiling instead, and that also gained, you know, an extra little bit of, uh, of height. So I like it. Um, I've had really tall people come in here and say, you know, that, that they felt comfortable. So got the tall guy approval. But <laughs> as I said, I don't really need all this height, but it's, it's definitely nice to have. It definitely makes the room feel a lot bigger. So because I plan on using this space um, as a mobile studio, like shooting videos in here or taking pictures in here, uh, making it look good was pretty high on the priority list and also trying to save money was high on the priority list. So there was a lot of areas in this bus that I tried to think of ways that I can make something look good while also doing it on the cheap. So for example, you'll notice all the curtains are tied back by rope. What I did was I went to I went to a craft store, bought a whole bunch of rope for cheap when it was on sale, and I just cut it up in about 10 inch segments and I made um, curtain ties out of them. So it was really dirt cheap and it's it's a theme that's kind of uh, used throughout the bus. Um, another one was uh, repurposed wood. So what I did was I went on Kijiji um, every spring and during the summer, people are just getting rid of all their you know, their old wood, like from their decks or their fences, stuff like that. So uh, what I did was I basically just drove around town and picked up everyone's old stuff. So all of the wood that you see on the ceiling, it's all old cedar from someone's deck. Didn't pay a cent for it. So basically all I did was I cut it real thin and I made roof panels out of it. Um, all of the red burgundy pieces of wood, that was someone's fence in their backyard. I love the color of it. I really wanted to incorporate that in the bus as well. Again, totally free and yeah, I, I, I think it looks good. <laughs> so you'll notice that uh, there's this big uh, empty white spot in the ceiling. I plan on putting a marine hatch there, like a glass door that opens because um, I also plan on putting a deck on the roof. So I think it's a really uh, sweet thing to also um, not only allow uh, natural light to come in, but have this door that you can, you know, climb up through the bus and access the deck through the inside. Again, another one of those things that you don't really need it, but it's cool, so I'll put it in. <laughs> tour if I left out any areas just let me know I'd be happy to answer any questions or if you're interested in checking out uh, some of my photography um, you can reach me at modify on Instagram or simply just leave me a comment and I'd be happy to get back to you thanks <laughs>